Imagine biting into a fresh tomato on Mars. Sounds wild, right? But here's the catch. You can't just ship salads to Mars forever. If we want to live off Earth, we need to grow food locally, cosmic agriculture style. But space is weird. On Earth, plant roots know which way is down. In microgravity, roots get confused, water floats in blobs, and without gravity, heat and gases just hang around. No natural circulation. So astronauts use clever tricks, capillary watering systems, fans to move air, and sensors to keep everything balanced. Now picture a space farm, racks of plants glowing under red and blue LEDs, with a splash of white light for flavor. No soil, just hydroponics or aeroponics, stacked high to save space. Computers monitor nutrients and CO2, but there's a trade-off. All those lights and pumps need power, create heat, and require constant upkeep. Dreaming bigger? Feeding a Mars or lunar colony means tackling partial gravity, cosmic radiation, and gritty dust. Greenhouses must be pressurized and shielded. Every drop of water is recycled. Every scrap of waste, composted. Forget regular dirt. Plants grow in treated regolith, or soilless mixes. And the whole system runs on solar or nuclear energy, scaling up from leafy greens to real staples. So what would you grow first if you had a garden on Mars? 